Good morning, you're watching Breakfast with India, the show that gets you the morning's top news and headlines. I'm Priya Lissu. I'm Amrita Tripathi and uh, top headlines include tracking hate speeches. The Election Commission now orders an FIR against DHP leader Praveen Togadia for asking for the eviction of Muslims from a Hindu majority area in Gujarat. Asking for a recording now, even as a second FIR is filed against BJP leader Giraj Singh, who stands by his comment that Modi critics should be sent to Pakistan. The campaigning ends today in the crucial sixth phase of elections. 117 Lok Sabha constituencies across Mumbai, Tamil Nadu and parts of Uttar Pradesh to make their choice as they vote on the 24th of April. It's hard for allies to keep up with the demand for Modi to campaign, hence the modified Modi. And Narendra Modi look alike, a huge hit with the Shiv Sena in Mumbai. But here is the Chief Minister who has presided over the massacre of so many Muslims and he's going to behave like this. I foresee that in the next six months you're going to have riots in this country. If Narendra Modi comes to power, there will be riots within six months. His former Punjab Chief Minister and Congress leader Captain Amrinder Singh as protests break out over his clean shit remarks to Jagdish Teitler in the 84 riots. It's a CNN IBN exclusive. Second son punch is killed within three days in Jammu and Kashmir's Purwama district along with his son. Two others shot dead by unidentified gunmen there two days before polls. Our militants trying to spread fear and derail the election process. And the Supreme Court is set to decide on the new BCCI proposed IPL Pro panel today even as questions are raised on potential conflict of interest of all three members. Former Justice Jane Patel admits he's related to BCCI Interim Chief Shivlal Yadav. And top international headline, at least 103 people are killed in the South Korean ferry mishap. 199 are still missing. The president of the country calls the captain's actions akin to murder. Chennai Super Kings crushed Delhi Daredevils by 93 runs. The Delhi team were all out for 84, chasing a target of 178 runs.